Fragrance that got me into niche fragrances, Parfum Smiley Haired. I absolutely love it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little re-review on Parfums de Marly Herod. This fragrance was the fragrance that got me into niche fragrances. I'd always wondered what the realm was like. I would hear stuff about Creed Aventus and all these other really good ones like Layton, Reflection Man, but for some reason when I looked up the notes to this one, it was just something I absolutely had to try based on the fragrances that I already liked. When I first smelled this fragrance, I absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was going to be like the best fragrance that I've ever smelled, the best if I had a choice to always wear this fragrance, I would wear this fragrance, you know, etc but I still really really enjoy this fragrance and it was nice to give it a full week in winter when it shines to really see how much I like it. I think the original review I did of this was just on a sample and I was basically ranting in my backyard for about 18 minutes so I really didn't have a, a for sure Parfum Stamarly Herod style review so here it is today with the seven day wearing. The notes we got here are cinnamon, pepper, tobacco, incense, osmanthus, labanum, vanilla, iso e super, musk, cedar, cypress oil, and vetiver. What this kind of smells like to me is a little bit of a play on the tobacco vanille style smell, that darker tobacco style smell with a little bit of vanilla, just basically some really, really nice spices. To me, I find tobacco to be just a really nice spice when they put it correctly in fragrance. I think it smells really good and it's probably one of the best spicy kind of fragrances that I would go for. As far as what I smell in here, I definitely smell the cinnamon, maybe a tad bit of pepper, some tobacco. I smell the incense. I smell a little bit of the isoe super musk i smell some vanilla personally i don't know what labanum and osmanthus smells like but to me this overall kind of smells like a little bit of like tobacco vanilla with a little bit of the fierce vibe in there just a little bit because of that isoe super and musk and it has a little bit of transparency but overall closer to tobacco vanilla the pros of this fragrance is it's a very unique high level fragrance every time that i wore this i felt like i really was wearing something special just an extra level of, of oomph of deliciousness of just extra goodness that I got every time that I was wearing this and it's something that I personally could wear almost all the time especially in like the nighttime and colder situations 100% really really did like this I use this as my signature scent so there was a few times it's actually a little bit warm I definitely got to say it is 100% better in the cold weather I've seen some fragrance reviewers saying it needs to be extremely cold for this and I do think that the colder it is the more it will excel but in my opinion it doesn't need to be super cold just generally pretty cold that's pretty much the pros guys and it has a pretty good projection. I would say the projection's almost into the pro. It's kind of in the middle, but I would say it's a little bit above average. To me, it just smells like a very upper class, very different, very sexy scent. I just really enjoyed it. It felt like I was wearing something special when I was wearing this. Cons, in my opinion, is it's not the best in high heat. Pretty much any sort of sweet, spicy fragrance is kind of more for the cold anyway. It did kind of smell a little bit of an off-putting weird vibe. I mean, not really weird, just that it didn't smell as good as it did in the cold. You know it sounds weird but sometimes in the wrong situation this kind of can smell a little bit like almost like a fruity plum. I know it sounds weird but sometimes it can do that and I think that's more of the heat. Like I said the colder it was the more it just smelled perfect in my opinion. As much as I like it I don't think it's as much for every single person in every single situation. I think this is a little bit more situational depending on who you are. If you're kind of a little bit more dark a little bit more independent wanting something with a little bit of a sexy edge this is 100% for you but if you want something that's like like a Mr. Perfect style fragrance, fragrance that's like not gonna offend anybody at any time kind of fragrance, or you don't wanna take at any risks at all, I wouldn't go with this one. Although this is pretty nice and very likable in my opinion, there's just certain situations and certain people that is probably isn't gonna be their favorite. In my opinion, that kind of goes for all darker sweet style fragrances. They're just for a certain kind of person. Not every person likes that darker sweet style spice, but personally, I really do. If I was gonna give this rating, I'd probably give this between an 8.5 to a nine. I really like this fragrance. The only reason I wouldn't give it a firm nine to a 9.5 is because I probably do slightly prefer Carlisle to this one. This was really, really nice to revisit. I really like this fragrance, especially with a little bit of the Fierce vibe in there. You've always liked Fierce. And anytime someone uses Isoe Super and Musk, it has a little bit of that Fierce style vibe. It's taken basically two different kinds of my favorite fragrances, like Dark Tobacco and Fierce, putting them together. So, so good. 8.5 to a 9 for the smell. Likeability, I'm going to give this one an 8. Like again, I don't think every single person will like it in every situation, but I do think that the times that people do like this, it's going to be really 
really, really good attention and really, really good notice with this one. So I'm gonna give this a solid eight for likability. Certain people are gonna love it and certain people it's just not gonna be their absolute best, but eight for likability. And then longevity and projection, I'd give this one an eight. There are certain things about this fragrance that make me feel like it could be an 8.5, but then there's also times where it's harder to kind of smell this fragrance and I would kind of maybe want to put it a little bit below an eight. So an eight seems perfect. There is times where this smell will kind of come back. Like when you think it's gone and you kind of come back or you spray it on your clothes and it will last for a long, long time. Again, like there are some times where I'll spray this a bunch and I'll go and I'm kind of not getting that many whiffs. So an eight for longevity and projection. I wouldn't say this isn't the best for the gym. It's something you could wear, but it wouldn't be my go-to. I wouldn't really want to be sweating with it in the heat. A date, I think this is okay, depending on the person. Like again, if you have that darker, sexy kind of personality, 100%. Certain people, I could just picture this not being for them. So I'll say this is okay for a date. This is really really good for a powerhouse winter cold fragrance 100% obviously not very good as a powerhouse summer fragrance at all because it's not really good in the high heat so overall better for the cold can be good for dates again it's just for somebody who's really independent wants like kind of something dark sexy unique something special in my opinion that's what this is Herod came out in 2012 fragrance that got me into niche fragrances Parfum with Marley Herod I absolutely love it anyways guys that's been a little bit of my rundown on Parfums to Marley Herod what's your favorite from the Parfums to Marley line. To me, it's really, really hard. Again, I'd probably have to go with Carlisle and I kind of really do like late and exclusive because it has a little bit of that tobacco incorporated, but this one still is one of my absolute favorites and it's for sure in my top five from PDM, probably in my top three personally. Let me know what your favorite Parfums to Marley fragrance is. Let me know what fragrance I should review next. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.